Hello Aquanauts, it's Monday and I'm filming outside because it's 7.15 in the morning. Hush phone, I'm making a video! DFTV. Hey. Sorry if the camera gets foggy, I've been wiping it off. Um, it's supposed to be super hot out here today though, like it's 7 in the morning and it's already 80 degrees outside. I will convert that later. It's supposed to be like 100 by like... 10 o'clock this morning and it's supposed to feel like 110 so this is probably going to be the only the only time that I spend outside at all today except to take my kids to swim practice so there you go also by my kids I don't mean my kids I mean like the kids that I am babysitting so there you go don't be alarmed today's a very special day because my brother is no longer a teenager anymore he is one score old 20 years so that's exciting um, on Saturday, his girlfriend Angel and I made him a giant cupcake. You know those things on TV? We were cleaning out. We had a garage sale on Saturday. And so we were cleaning everything out. And, my, and I found it. And Mom was like, oh, let's sell that in the garage sale. And I was like, no! We have to use it to make a giant cupcake! We used it to make this. We made him a giant chicken cupcake. His little waffle cone feet and a humongous candle and... There's the back of him, and he's pretty adorable. Also, we filled it with nerds, and this cake is tie-dye on the inside. Now on to the topic that the whole of the internet is talking about. Um, guys, by this time next week, no more Harry Potter movies. That will be the end of it. That is, that's all. That's it. I can't believe we're already here, but I'm very excited about it. Oh no, my neighbors are outside. I don't know why I'm whispering. Anyways, okay, we're gonna continue this video, but at a lower volume. I'm really excited about Harry Potter. Um, I'm also already really sad. Like, <laughs> it hasn't even happened yet. I'm missing something that hasn't even happened yet. But, you know, there you go. I suppose that's just how it works. On the plus side, though, I have high hopes for this movie. I don't think they're going to mess it up. They did a really good job with part one, and, you know, I'm just, I'm excited. Excited, and I'm going to go into this with a, this is a movie, not a book, kind of attitude. That way I can enjoy it. Um, I learned after, like, the third movie to quit reading the books right before the movie came out, because it just made me upset and angry. <laughs> Which I realize is stupid. I know the books and the movies are separate and they should stay separate and that's fine. But, you know. Also, um, I know you guys watch Doctor Who, some of you, sort of, Cat and Sarah at least. Um, do you also watch Torchwood? And if you do, did you watch the new Torchwood that came out? They have like the first series of Torchwood and then Children of Earth happened and it was ridiculous. And then now they have a new one. Miracle Day, so it's like um, the whole world, everyone just stops dying and it's ridiculous. There's one scene where Gwen has a baby on her hip with pink earmuffs on its head to uh, not damage her hearing while she is like using a machine gun to shoot the crap out of a helicopter. I'm not going to spoil it, I'm just going to say that it was really good and I'm excited for the next episode and I think that this series is going to be, you know, pretty good and I like the new characters. I was worried because like... Owen I loved, and Tosh, and Yanto, I loved them all, and then now they're just having new people. But I think I like these people, so that's good news. Alright. I feel like this has been rambling enough. I have to go to work now. Like, right now. So, um, we'll see you this afternoon. No, you will see me this afternoon, because it's a video It only works one way. Uh, after I edit this and upload it. Okay. Um, Sarah... I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.